Hey guys, it's Vaughn and I'm excited about today's video because it's my first ever wash and go on YouTube. This video is cool because I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a wash and go look without necessarily having to wash your hair. And I'm going to be using some brand new products from the Cream of Nature Argan Oil line which promise to manage frizz, shrinkage and dryness. The three featured items is this Butterlicious Curls, the Pudding Perfection and the Twirling Custard. The three sound very similar, so what's the difference? Well, this first one is a curl styling gel, really good for setting twists or finger coils. This next one is a curl hydrating buttercream, best for daily moisture maintenance. And this last one is a curl enhancing cream, and we're going to use this one for today's wash and go. The current state of my hair is day five of a twist out. I obviously can't go out like this, but I have no time to wash my hair and definitely no time to refresh a twist out. This was the perfect time for me to try my hand at the infamous wash and go. I've typically avoided the hairstyle for the last five years because of dryness and shrinkage. But when I heard about these new Cream of Nature products, I was not worried. So let's get started. Anytime you're dealing with water on the hair, it's best to break it down into sections. Your hair will dry easier in layers and it's better to manage. Once I have a workable section, I'm going to go ahead and dampen the hair with a little bit of water. Next, I'm going to finger comb the hair. Finger combing is easy. All you're doing is separating the tangles and lining all the hairs up. For me, this method is more effective than a comb, but if you must use one, make sure it's a wide tooth. I'm actually going to start off with one of my favorite leave-in conditioners, the Cream of Nature Perfect 7. Next, I'm going to introduce you guys to the Pudding Perfection. Of course, this product smells fantastic and is a very thick, creamy consistency. This product contains no nonsense and comes with directions for achieving best results. To each section of hair, I'm going to apply a liberal amount, literally, from the root to the tip. I'm going to work this product in by continuing to finger comb until my curls have popped. And I'm going to finish each section with a little bit of the Gloss and Shine Mist. Now if you're in a hurry like me, your next step is going to be a blow dryer or diffuser. With the coolest setting possible, I'm going to blow air onto my hair. The obvious goal here is to dry the hair in its natural curl pattern. Do not pull the hair taut. After about 20 to 30 seconds of the blow dryer, it's time to move on to the next section of hair, repeating the same steps. I love that this product still allows a little bit of shrinkage while maintaining movement. With curl enhancing products, it's important to have realistic expectations. These kind of products are meant to enhance your curl pattern, not create one. What I do like about the really dense formulas is that even the slightest curl can be defined. Oh, and here I'm just smoothing my edges with the product. This is just in case I decide to wear my hair up. I'm just making sure that I'm completely covering the hair from the root all the way down to the ends. That way I don't have the puffy roots when the hair dries. Now that I'm all done, I'm going to gently dry the last layer. Give yourself time so that you can be patient with this process. Give every curl on your head a chance to achieve optimal definition naturally. And don't worry, your hair is going to dry extremely soft. I know, I was surprised too. Stay tuned for the finished look. 
So here I am about 30 minutes later with completely dried hair. As you can see, there isn't much of a difference between the damp hair and the dry hair in terms of length. Here I'm just picking my scalp ever so slightly for more volume. The really cool thing about this product is that you can play with the hair as much as you want and you don't have to really worry about frizz because these curls are pretty much locked in. And I actually find that the more you play with the wash and go curls, the prettier they become. And guys, I really feel that this is the best my hair has looked since I've been natural. This is truly a game changer for me. I've never been able to wear my hair in a wash and go style out of fear of extreme shrinkage, tangling and matting. I'm actually really excited to rock my natural curls. Oh, and this hair is super easy to maintain. I just pineapple at night and add a little water in the morning to spruce it up. And to finish this look, I'm wearing an animal print pencil skirt, a denim bandeau, and a chunky gold necklace. I love my hair like this. I am going to be in the mirror all night. Thanks for watching, guys. It's next on the beat.